Okay, but guys, today I got my Bowfin Cruiser 80 Series roof rack in. So I've already started assembling it. First thing I want to talk about is what it came in. It came in uh, on a plywood board wrapped in styrofoam and then wrapped in a black plastic on top of that. So it was really well secured. Uh, not as big as I thought it was going to be in the packaging. Next I want to talk about is all of these Ziploc bags. So Bowfin Cruiser did a really good job with this. So each Ziploc bag is its own uh, nuts and bolts for specifically like this one is going to be uh, your bolts for your lock, not for your latch attachment. So the first thing, and it does come with instructions that are really pretty easy to read. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to install your crossbars on the rack. And unfortunately, I don't have too many options, so I just put a blanket out and a pad. Um, so your first thing you want to do is install a middle bar, and then from there, work your way from the back up to the front. I haven't tightened any of these super up, but all it's going to be is a bar and it's going to go through these top latches up here. And on this side, you're going to have this little metal, um, kind of like a double bolt holder. And then inside that is your little uh, lock washer. And then this is all going to be Allen wrench and it actually comes with the Allen wrench right here so here's kind of a look at that so like I said it's just a dual sided little metal then you put the bolt in with that lock washer and you just do that for both sides and then at the end I had two extra lock washers an extra bolt and the extra little double bolt holder uh, and you even install one in this very front. So that's how it's looking right now. This is going to be the wind deflector. So mine might look a little different than yours. I got the cutout for a light on top. That's why this has this cutout. If I did not, that would be a piece of metal there. I'm not 100% sure when I'm going to get the light yet. Uh, the light for this is a bit more expensive than I was expecting for the one I want. It's about 1700 bucks. So I'm not sure if that's going to be worth it or not. But this same thing, it's going to have a little trick to it. Uh, I just took one of them out. So wind deflector, bolts and nuts. As you can see, it's just going to be a bolt with a little like T attachment. So what you want to do on this one is you want to put the bolt in and then put the T attachment in the back making sure that flat sides on the back and I'll show you this one real quick as I do it I think this lighting is decent so that bolt is already in and now I'm just going to screw that one in by hand and you do want them to be a little loose because there's going to be a trick to this to put it on that first rail. So you see, I have the bolt on that side. I'm gonna twist it about three times. And now I'm making sure that flat side's in the back and I'm gonna twist it another one, two, maybe three, just to make sure it's secure. And that's what we have. So now I'm gonna show you guys the trick. So you see those little T's, they're going to slide into those grooves right there. So let's put you right here. And I think you'll see that really well. Let's see how well I can do this without messing it up. Hmm. 
I'll turn it out to tighten that a little bit more. I wasn't expecting that. So you need to tighten this all the way, it looks like. Okay, the instructions doesn't say to uh, take this off. It says it should be on, but I'm going to make this easier on myself, and I'm just going to undo one side. Try this instead. So the problem is on these, there's a gap. So I got to tighten the bolt and then put the T's on. So I'm just going to redo that real quick. And you can watch me do it real quick. So these bolts, you want no space between the deflector and the bolt. Ooh. These are coming off. And then I'm just going to put these back on by hand, maybe two twists. 
Good, good, good. Okay, we're missing a couple. Missing one more. Where to go? Oh, spaghetti! Okay, we're missing one. Found it, putting it on, getting a couple twists. And this would probably be easier with two people for one person to hold it while the other person uh, kind of sh shimmies it on, but whatever. All right, here we go. Ground. side back on. I want to tighten that down. Now because of those T brackets in the back, those T's are going to clip on to that latch, or should I say get stopped by the uh, wall on top and bottom, and that's how they'll tighten.
tighten these ones right here up a little bit. Nice. Nice. All right. Let's give that a look. So now there we have it. You can see I already scratched it. <sighs> yeah. Scratched that with a knife while I was opening it. So just be aware that, um, I don't know if it's a powder coating or whatever, but it's not the strongest, but that's okay. Because this thing is gonna get used. All right, so the next step should be to walk it up and put it on top of the roof. And this is only being able to be done if you have uh, uh, somebody else with you, right? Next it says install the latches on the corresponding sides as that they are marked. Okay. All right, so next is latches, and then it's going to be uh, the rubber. So let's look. Bag of extras. Latches. Latch attachment bolts. And actually, let's go this way with you. And four. I'm thinking this one will also have four. One. Two. Lots and lots of wrap. Three. And four. All right. So now let's see what it says. Next, install latches on the corresponding sides as they are marked. Hmm. As they are marked, huh? Well, these definitely are not marked. They all have three holes, it looks like. And the corresponding size is there. Mark the latches bolt into the four sets of double holes on each side rail. One, two, three, four. Just to show you guys, that would be those holes right there. One, two, one there, one there, and one up there. The lockdown bolt holes on the latch should be in line. Should be in line with the lockdown bolt holes in the side panel. Do not install the lockdown bolts yet. Latch lockdown bolts. Don't install those yet. Tighten the 16 trooper latch long bolts and lock nuts to secure the latches on the side. So first thing is, I need 16 it says, huh? 
2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 16. So I like to put each one together. There's one set. There's two sets. There's three sets. Four sets. Five sets. Six sets. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. 16 and one left over I guess in case you lose anything which is nice all right so I think you're gonna be able to see this from here I'm gonna try the first one with one two Looks like you just put one nut in. I should have saved one bolt in. Two bolts in. Squeeze it through. And then you're going to bolt it on to the other side. I'm going to keep these loose for right now just to make sure that everything is correct. So, just to show you guys how you have to do it. So, it looks like you're putting them in this. So, all you're doing is you can't put them in through here like that because of this. So all you do is lift the latch up, throw them in, one, throw it in, two, and then you're going to bolt on the other side and then bolt on the other side.
right. Now it's time for the other side. Actually, you know what? To make this video shorter, I'm just gonna do the other side. All right, next is installing the rubbers. You take the rubbers out and there'll be three. There'll be two long ones like this. So there's this one and one more. And then there's a short one. It says for the short one to put it on the front. It holds okay, but not great. It's just rubber, so there's no like uh, glue or any kind of adhesive to put it on there. I haven't added any. And then the second to go on your little rail right here, and it's just to kind of protect this rail. As you can tell, no adhesive on this one either. So I'm not sure how good these will stay. And it's a good warm day here in San Diego. So I'm hoping that these with some heat over the next couple of days will latch on there even better. But that's to protect your rails from the clamps. And then on this side, so this side I actually have Raptor liner on it and the other side I didn't. But let's see if I can put this on either way, one-handed. So I thought at first it went on top like this, but it actually goes more from a side angle. So you put the lip underneath like that. As you can see, it's kind of hard to put on with one hand, but that's how you do the rubber shoe. All right, the rack is on. So now what I'm doing is tightening the latches. So Allen wrench on one side, 11 millimeter to hold it on that side. I only got one done, so I got seven more to go. 